Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Model Car Show. So today I've got sort of a special one for you. Another one in our rainbow series of model car kits, but this time this one is a bit of a kit bash. What do I mean by kit bash? What do you mean, Trevor? Well, that's basically taking two model cars and turning them into one. So this kit bash is rather interesting, rather unique. It involves, of course, our 1939 Ford two-door, as well as our AMT 1940 Ford Coupe. And this is actually the original one that I did build way back in the day. Not, not this one specifically, but this model in the, this box is what I'm trying to say. So what it is, it's a combination of the 1939 fenders and grill with the 1940 coupe body. So I'll just, just give me a minute. Okay, here we are. So this is my 1939 Ford businessman coupe. And see what I did there? You see the grill? The, you, the only way to get this in on the coupe body is to use the fenders and put the coupe body onto the 39 fenders. So two kits to make one car. And again, I did this, you know, when I was quite young, about 8 to 12, somewhere in that ballpark. So, without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see how I built this model car, so that maybe you, you can learn how to build one yourself. And here is the next Rainbow Series car. Again, a 39 Ford with the 40 Ford headlights. Uh, I didn't put any of the chrome wheel rings on. I think I was a little too nervous to try to figure it out back when I was young. Again, no door handle on the trunk lid. This kit is painted with a brush using the tester's uh, gloss green. Now, what makes this kit interesting is it's a combination of the 39 Ford kit and the 40 Ford kit. The interior was painted with um, testers brown, the light tan, and the uh, dark brown. Steering wheel ring is uh, painted white. And overall, I mean, it's not too bad considering I built this when I was about 11. And again, another one of the cars I would show to my grandma. So, as you can see, my uh, techniques have improved. A little bit of cracks on the glass here. And I'm missing the side vent windows. Again, something I wasn't too comfortable trying to put in back in the day. But overall, considering I was about 11 at the time, this is not a bad model kit. And what I find interesting is this tester's paint is from the 80s. <laughs> and the dust has never sunken into it like it does with the Tamaya paints. Here we have our overhead shot for our 39 Ford. And we can easily remove the hood off this car. One-handed. Well, there we go. <laughs> so again, I painted the motor with the gray color. We've got our 85 horsepower engine in here. Going on to our radiator, which I painted the top of the tank brass. This would be, of course, gloss black on the real car. Again, I, I noticed some window areas here where I didn't get the paint in. You can't really see them from this angle. Um, well, I mean, I was about 11, 12 years old when I built this. There are some little smears on the window. I did attempt to paint the windshield frame with the silver paint. Again, not too bad for my age and limitations at the time. If you're a young model builder, you know, this is some really good work uh, as you're going through and learning all the steps. Use these model kits to benchmark, and what I mean by that is uh, build a model, learn lesson number one, and then once you get lesson number one done, like painting with a brush, let's say. That was my lesson one. So painting with a brush, at this stage I started to get really good at it. So then my next sort of lesson was, you know, maybe not getting glue on the windshield. So keep practicing these things and use your models as a benchmark. So with this one, there's glue on the window. With the next one, there isn't, you know, and that sort of thing. So that's my advice to the younger model builders watching this. 
Don't shoot for perfection on the very first attempt because you're not going to get it because you're still in the learning phase. Maybe 20, 30 years later, like me, <laughs> or 40 years later. I think I've been building models for 39 years now, which is crazy. Uh, but anyway, as you progress, you learn. And when you're at my age, then you're building that perfection you were seeking at this age, which is like 11. Now we're looking at the underside of our green 3940 Ford here, our coupe. And as you can see again, I've painted this with flat black testers paint with a brush. This time around, I tried to paint the rear spring silver. There are some missing paint spots underneath here. I can see them. You, you can't because <laughs> of the angle. Oh, like there. That's the uh, tan plastic, which should actually be painted green. So remember, when you're painting these, always make sure, like my dad used to say, that you don't see any windows into the original plastic color. Whoops. Which we do have going on here. We got our turtle lying on his back here. <laughs> Easy to spin a turtle. Uh, now, I did paint the bolt head silver and made the attempt to paint the muffler. The engine block, you can see the seam line right up the middle of it, very obviously. Again, um, I didn't know about removing the uh, injector molding pins, oh, sorry, the location pins in here. That was my uncle's suggestion, actually. Sand them all off, sand the sides of the block completely flat, then glue it together. And I've been doing that ever since. Uh, it just helps with the alignment and helps with the tightness between the sides. And again, I used that chrome drop axle because I didn't need to paint it. Little did I know that it was a custom front end. Well, maybe I did, because I read the instructions. <laughs> but uh, give us the car the nose in the weeds look. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my 1939 Ford Businessman Coupe and got to learn a little bit of the secrets on how to make your own. Now, of course, I built this way back when, part of the Rainbow series, so I was still learning quite a bit, and this was sort of one of the first experimentations I did in kit bashing. So if you're a brand new model builder, give it a try. It's quite a lot of fun, and you will enjoy it. And remember, try not to uh, make it 100% perfect, build for you. Build it, have fun, and learn so that eventually you can make a model kit that's 100% perfect and you won't feel like it's a big huge challenge because you would have made the little steps all the way up. It'll just become, hey, it's a regular thing at that point. So, uh, I was about to say without further ado. So until next time everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And we will see you for another model car car show. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it, We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.